My name is Harriet Anita Baby. I'm a community development artist. What happened is that we saw a smoke coming out from the, from the market. And this market is a serious market. It doesn't burn by heart. So if anything like this happens, it means it's serious. So we are all waiting for the morning, tomorrow morning, to see what exactly happened. Because as it is, we, nobody can get inside. It is only the fire um, personnel, tenders who are making sure that they put everything under control. But what I have to say to our leadership in this country is that we have to be very, very serious with the welfare of the people. The welfare of the people. Not who wins what. Not who becomes what at the end of the day. We can have an MP, we can have a president. If they lack leadership and focus, we will always have problems. This is a market. We have post office, we have police station. If we have one fire uh, uh, tender or um, fire service uh, situation here at the post office, uh, at the police station, it will help us. Because anything happens, that one will take you know, the lead and do whatever they have to do before the main fire service comes. There's a market, a big market. So we need all these amenities. We need this essential amenity. We need something that can protect our property. Not just being a leader in a community and then you'll be roaming up and down in V8 and all that. We don't need that. We need leaders who can think about the community and the welfare of the people. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I was called by uh, somebody uh, that uh, the market is on fire. Now that now I'm here and I can see the fire service is here. And they are trying to uh, put the light on. And I can see from the back of uh, the building, that's the opposite, the post office. Opposite. That's what I'm seeing. But I think uh, the swift intervention of the fire service is trying to help to curb the, the fire. And I think that it, it, it's almost on and I mean, the fire service people are doing their best to try to bring the fire down. And it's very, very painful because most of the mothers, they are like me, lives here, and most of the community people, too, they all think we go here and buy in there. So, as it's happening over here, it's a problem. So, we are seeing how best we can put this fire down so that everybody can see most of the community people are here and we are all sympathizing with what is going on. So, we are praying that the fire service keep, puts everything under control so that we can all go home and back and forth. So, that is what I've got to say now. Since I came here. That's what I've got to say now. So, I'm praying that everything comes under control. Yeah. I will take this opportunity to uh, meet all those who are looking at you. Um, so far, so good. Uh, the fire service people are able to uh, put off the fire. Yes, uh, immediately they arrived, all places, the all uh, doors are locked, but they were able to uh, break through the external wall at the at external wall and then enter to the building and then they put off the fire. So, so far, so good. Uh, now, unless tomorrow morning, before the fire service, and then I will we'll come back and do the further assessment. Have you heard of any casualties? Uh, so far, negative. negative. And, and um, looking at your, what, based on your assessment, what is the cause of damage here? Uh, Roger, so far, we cannot say it unless the German National Fire Service do the comprehensive uh, assessment tomorrow morning before they will be able to uh, see the cause of damage. The cause of it. So, you go, you go here. Did you pick any information on the fire? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, yeah, so far the information we picked, uh, they were able to uh, break through the fence wall and then and then do the fire and then uh, drop the fire. How many shops uh, were caught uh, to the fire? Yes, uh, so far I uh, will be able to confirm uh, tomorrow. I don't think uh, it's so serious, but tomorrow morning we will be able to uh, confirm it to the public. But I don't think uh, it's a serious one. But they were able to, the fact that the National Fire Service have done very, very well. They have done very, very well. But the place is locked, and then they were able to use their tent ladder and then they climb upstairs and then look through the external wall. They have done well. So, how soon can the market be able to take the market? Uh, 
tomorrow morning they, they will be able to assess it because it's the only the floor, the third floor. The floor. The name, the name, yeah, the name, the name, my name is uh, Isaac Fawcett. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'm a divisional commander, district commander for the Delta area. Kalish as well. Okay. So, um, what actually happened? What, what, what actually happened? Well, we had a distress call somewhere after 11. Uh, and then we rushed here. Only to find out that the fire involved uh, a couple of shots up on the second floor. So, uh, entry was a, a bit of a problem, but eventually we were able to get access by breaking in, and then we tackled the fire. Um, the fire involved about two shops where they sell clothing and, 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 and pieces of cloth. Uh, we have those two shops totally getting burnt, and then we have other three shops around it getting partially burnt. So, uh, is anybody here? No. There was no casualty at all. Luckily enough, we were able to confine the fire. It, didn't, it was not able to spread that far. So the damage, I would say, is small. When you, when you want to look at the, uh, uh, the size of the market and the size of the floor and the area in which uh, uh, the fire occurred, I would say the, the damage is quite minimal. Okay. I know you are yet to conduct an investigation in what actually caused the fire, but do you have any preliminary no, not at all. We are, we are, we are still conducting our investigation, well, so we will not be able to come out clearly to tell that it is this or that at the moment. The investigation is still ongoing, so we will have to stand by to the investigation is completed, and then we will be able to come out with our findings and the cause of the fire. So are we confident that the fire is not going to come again tomorrow? No, no, not at all. You can see we've destroyed the tender. The fire is finally totally extinguished. Finally, totally extinguished. There is no cause for alarm at the now. Any activities of the people around here that you think could have avoided this fire? Um, well, let me say that the fire was right in there, and you know this market. At the end of the day, everything is is is, is kind of uh, all gates are closed. You don't get easy access into it. You understand? Um, we've also had um, a team of safety officers here stationed here permanently since 2015. So we, 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 are, uh, uh, we, are, we are confident about the education and stuff that they give to these people. So at the end of the day, I would say that uh, people in this market are well educated and they, they, they know what to do in terms of fire. We didn't have any problem at all from the public or anything. Everything was okay. Do the market women be, wor be worried? Come again. The market women, should they be worried? Yes, they are worried because they will not get access to go in there. But I can say and surely... Or I can say on authority that the damage is very, very minimal and there is no cause for alarm. They cannot get access because the whole place is locked up. They'll get access into it tomorrow morning, I uh, believe. But I, I can also assure them that the damage is very minimal and there is no cause for alarm. With the exception of the two shops that got totally burned, the rest, everything is fine. And the, the shops, what, 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 what do they contain? They sell cloth. Cloth. Uh, yes, this is a cloth. This is a flood. I mean, the, the fire was kind of confined, so it did not spread. It really shoot up, so we had the damage. We had the roof also getting damaged. Okay. Most welcome. I I can say and surely, or I can say on authority that the damage is very, very minimal and there is no cause for alarm. They cannot get access because the whole place is locked up. They'll get access into it tomorrow morning, I believe. But I, I can also assure them that the damage is very minimal and there is no cause for alarm. With the exception of the two shops that got totally burned, the rest, everything is fine. And the, the shops, what, what, the, what, what, what's the contain? They sell cloth, cloth. Uh, yes, this is a cloth. This is a cloth. I mean, the, the fire was kind of confined, so it did not spread. It really shoot up, so we had the damage. We had the roof also getting damaged. Okay, what did you see myself? Most welcome. Are you anybody have a problem? That's right. I can see my move to do this. Okay. I can't find it. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going